I was telling you to focus on the areas of interest for oh, your work. Oh, focus. I thought you said, what are the areas of interest? And I said, the learning. Those brains are fried today. <sighs> I understand, though. OK, the AP obliques guide, that's our LPOs and RPOs. We're still utilizing a 35 to 45 degree oblique for the LPO and RPO. We're still at the level of the iliac crest. We're also steering towards that elevated side. You see right there. So do you remember what I said? If I'm doing an LPO, what flexure will I be opening up? LPO right. Right, and RPO will open up the left. left. And there you have it right there, guys. LPO specifically opens up the right colic flexure, while the RPO will specifically open up the left colic flexure. Now, these other ones in black, I mean, that's the other things you're going to see, but the main point of obliques is to open up flexures, and that's what I want you to focus on, because that's what the registry focuses on, on the obliques for the large intestine. All right, talking about our decubitus x-rays. So for double contrast studies, air or up is gonna be our side of interest. Right lateral decubitus of a large intestine is gonna demonstrate the medial side of the ascending colon and the lateral side of the descending colon. It's gonna inverse when we go to the other one. The left lateral decubitus is gonna show the lateral side of the ascending colon and the medial side of the descending colon. I didn't put this in red. That is a very important slide to remember there, guys. Put a star on that slide. We're talking about our decubitus x-rays now. So we're looking at the walls of the colon on these, essentially. Medial and lateral sides. All right, so how do we position? Recumbent lateral. We're gonna put our IR at the level of the iliac crest, just like a decubitus abdomen essentially, but we're not gonna be going two inches above the crest. We're gonna be right at the crest to make sure we get that entire large intestine. So don't mix that up with your decubitus abdomens. This is a decubitus large intestine, and we're right at the level of the crest. So it's right there, right at the level of the crest. And that's the same thing I just told you guys about, guys. So this is the right lateral, so we're looking at the medial side of the ascending colon, the lateral side of the descending colon where the, when the colon's inflated with air. By the way, we'll only see the sides with the double contrast. It's the point of the double contrast to see the interior portions or the walls of those large intestines. Excuse me. We're also gonna see the left colic flexure down to the rectum. So when we're talking about the medial side of the ascending colon, guys, look how the barium is falling and we see air. Here's the medial sides we're looking at of ascending. Here's the lateral sides of the descending up here. So when we go to the left lateral, it's all gonna flip, which we'll look at here next. You still mark the side that's up. You always right. mark the side that's up, yes. And you said you will only see the sides of the colon with the double contrast? Yes, correct. So there's the left lateral. So what are we looking at? Lateral side of ascending colon, medial side of descending colon, when the colon is inflated with air. Right side is up. So, to myself sideways here. Here is the lateral side of ascending, medial side of descending right here. And also the area of the left colic flexor down to the rectum. Once again, I know this is a lot, guys. On these positions, focus on the red text. It's going to make that a lot easier to study. We go back when it says the right lateral is also showing the left cold flexion there. They both do. They both do. That's straight from the book. All right, last procedure, guys. Last procedure. This is gonna be a defecogram, also called, <laughs> yes, also yeah. called an evacuative proctogram, also called defecography. Oh, is that when they, oh man, that's when Miss, uh, that's when they watch you poop. Miss Smith was talking about when he had a poo in the bucket. One of y'all did one. 
Was that Angelica? In MRI. Yeah, she did one of these in MRI. Yeah, she was so, this is a functional study of the anus and rectum specifically during the evacuation and rest phases of defecation. So if someone's had a particularly bad time going to the restroom, it's going to evaluate the rectum is functioning properly to evacuate waste. And that's what we're looking at right here, guys. That's all the contents coated with barium. There it is starting to come out right there. Huh? Stuff. You coat all their stuff with barium, yeah. And watch it come out. You watch it come out with the fluoro. They're going to literally sit on what's called a mobile imaging commode yes. with a disposable waste receptacle. They sit on this commode, and here's your fluoro table, your tube shooting right here, guys. So you know already, they just getting ready. Yes. I've never seen one of these done, by the way. I've never seen these done. No, what I mean what I find funny about this though is growing up my parents always called it a commode. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was a made up word. I think that was a real word. No, that's actually is a real a word. word. Yeah. I was wondering how like to do it. Yeah. yeah. So obviously the bag's gonna catch the contents and they'll dispose properly. Yeah. <laughs> so do they wipe? I'm confused. Like I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I would assume they like, wipe. No, but like, what if they're not able to? Well, then you Does gotta the wipe it up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call so, I have a question. <laughs> I'm gonna call now, you yes. Huh? Now they do it in MRI, are they still doing it with this? Or? Honestly, I, I've never seen one of these done. Uh -huh. So I'm not, I don't know if it's like super rare or I'm it not sure. It probably is super rare. But they still want you to know it. And okay, we're gonna use a high density barium, a mechanical applicator. That's how we're gonna inject the barium, by the way, up the rectum. Ew. Rectal tubing and a tip. Just like this guy, you insert that tip, inject the barium in, they're gonna evacuate it out. And that's what it looks like. You're sitting on the toilet, the tube's right up next to them. Watch them use the bathroom. It can also be very, I would assume, time consuming because it's quite uncomfortable to use the bathroom while people are watching you. But um, yeah. Does that bag contain the smell? A smell? Does, does it keep the smell in? Like. I don't know, there's like some potpourri or something. Yeah, like, oh, like, 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 like those glade trash bags. I'm just wondering about that because that could be very uncomfortable for all parties involved. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Most certainly. Uh, I don't, I'm assuming no. I mean, we kind of get a, we kind of get used to smelling smells in the hospital, let's be honest. No. 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 <laughs> They inject it. So you inject this into the rectum and you push the barium in there. It's a very thick barium, so it's going to coat what feces are in there. And it's also going to act like feces because it's thicker. Okay, so you have what's called the strain or evacuation phase, and you have the defecation and resting phase. So. I'm sure you've never thought about yourself using the bathroom in that much detail, but you have different phases whenever you evacuate waste. You have the strain evacuation, where you're trying to push it out, and then you go into a rest phase after you push it out. So there's a pushing out, and there's a resting phase. That's what it looks like right there. How long would that take? There's the defecation, there's the resting. It's probably as fast as they can get it out. I, like it's, it's probably very uncomfortable because everyone's watching you. I can't imagine having to do that in front of people, but. And it probably not giving them any kind of um, like privacy. No, 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 no. Uh, anything to make them feel like, like a laxative. Yeah, a laxative. Yeah, they couldn't do a laxative; it'd be too quick. Yeah, sure. They didn't see the natural process. So, yeah. so they probably not giving yeah, yeah, laxative. So it's probably a, a very, very. When I say uncomfortable, I don't mean just using a restroom. Just the overall act in front of somebody is uncomfortable. Yeah, I imagine so. Yeah. So use the bike portion is the, uh, stool. It's the kind of That's all the stool and barium, yes. That's the rectum, yes. Can you explain like the difference between the defecate and the resting? Because the resting looks like it has more on it. All right, in layman's terms, defecates is when you poop. So that's that's it coming in? That's, the, that's, that's when you're pooping, evacuating. Oh, okay, I'm using my, use my kid words. When you're going poopy, <laughs> that's the pooping. And after you evacuate, the anus naturally relaxes. 
Oh, so they're looking at the, the sphincter when relaxes. When they're, when they're so usually what they're thing. evaluating is the integrity of not only the rectum, but the anal sphincter to basically close back off. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not closing and relaxing, mm -hmm. you're just going to keep dribbling contents out. That's what they're doing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's all like sussing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> On the resting one, that's just a colon um, coated with barium? Yes. Up, up this is the anus right here. A little higher? This is the rectum. And then that's the yes, signal. Right. Okay. So, so it's actually coming out right here, and then it relaxes and closes. And usually, like, the contents are kind of still go, they'll go back up a little bit. Like, you know, I'm not trying to be gross, but when you evacuate, it's usually kind of done in phases. It comes out, you relax. It comes out, you relax. I know you all want to think that deeply about using the restroom. <laughs> yeah, there's 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 the straining and straining and relaxation phases of using the restroom. All right, let's enough of the about. Let's talk. We've had enough time talking about that. Okay. PA oblique, LAO position demonstrates what specifically, guys? Who's the star of our show? LEO, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. That's the left colon flexure, correct? To demonstrate the medial side of the ascending colon and the lateral side of the descending colon, you might have to move yourself into position to demonstrate it. For a double contrast BE, what position will we put the patient in? Think about how gravity falls and air rises. It's a trick to those questions. So if we see the medial side of ascending colon, the bearing has to be on the lateral side. So how do we get the ascending colon on the lateral side? We lay on the right side. So it'll be a right lateral decubitus, specifically. Think right about how, think with, with the DQ questions like this, the easiest trick is think about how the gravity, like the barium falls, air rises. Yeah. So to see the medial side, that part needs to have air in it. Mm -hmm. The side you're viewing is the part with the air in it. Okay. So it's saying medial side of the ascending colon, lateral side of the descending colon. Here's your ascending colon, mm -hmm. here's your descending colon. So if I lay on my right side, barium falls yeah. to the lateral side, airs on the medial side. Oh, here it falls to the medial side, airs oh, on the lateral thinking, side. Oh, that's so much. <laughs> I was thinking, it's not that hard if you if you break it down like that, though. Yeah, I mean, what, when you were saying, I was thinking that the air would go up here, but you was pointing from like right here to here, so. So it's gonna show you the air in, still in that the the medial side. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, say that again. A, so it's like, you know, you have the, the, um, the right and the left, and when you have them on that side, you're seeing it, like the air and the barium in the same colon? Yes. Okay. Yes, because it's a double contrast. Okay. Exactly right. So basically, for a left lateral decubitus, it demonstrates the left side, correct? The left side? Not just the left side. Of the ascending for, colon? For colon, no, because, to, because think about you got the entire large intestine. Uh -huh. Think about how the barium is falling and the air is rising in different parts of the colon. So if I lay on my left side, let's talk about the descending first. I'm on my left side, barium falls on the left, okay. air rises to the medial side of the ascending colon. I go to this side, barium is falling to the medial side of the ascending colon, air is rising to the lateral side of the ascending colon. You may go back to the picture. Pick right here. Okay. Whoops, too far. Right lateral. Okay, right I'm laying right. on my right side. Mm -hmm. Barium falls, barium falls. Mm -hmm. Air rises, air rises. So the air is the air is the areas that I am seeing on these decubes. Therefore, for a right lateral, I can see the what portion? Medial side of the ascending, lateral side of the descending. Okay. Let's go to the other the, side. Yeah, left side. If I'm laying on my left side. This image is flipped, by the way. I'm laying on my left side. Here is the lateral side of ascending, medial side of descending. Because the barium falls, air rises on the cubes. And this is a left, left lateral. This would be a left lateral. OK. 
Okay. All right, so, so we're, we're done with the chapter, guys. Let's do some review questions. We'll wrap this up. I do have a practice Kahoot I'll send you guys as well for your study. Thank you. Um, how much time do we have? Yeah. It's about to be 2.30. Not bad, not bad, okay. All right, so what are we looking at here, guys? Oh, before we do that, I wanna go back to colon one more time because remember we were talking about how the barium and the air is distributed for upper GIs? Mm -hmm. Let's review how it's distributed for our large intestines, namely our supines versus PAs, whether we're talking about obliques or straight supines and PAs, okay? So barium in a large intestine, if I'm going into an AP or supine position, I'm falling back, do you remember where the barium's gonna be? It's gonna be where? Large intestine. If I lay on my back, which is an AP, the bear is going to be in the ascending and descending colon. Now that's even for my LPO and RPO. That's where the bear is going to be. Those are all AP supines. Okay? Or AP projections, rather. They're all APs. Acing and descending for my AP projections. Oh, my PAs, I'm going to go forward on my belly. Mm -hmm. So the bear is going to be in the transverse and sigmoid. Now where the barium is, the air is in the opposite areas. So let's go back again. APs for large intestine. Barium's in the ACN and descending. Air's in the transverse and sigmoid. I go forward for the prones, PAs. Barium's in the transverse and sigmoid. Air's in the ascending and descending. Make yourself a little chart on that, guys. Okay, AP, this is the large intestines we're talking about, right? Yes. Uh, barium is in the ascending and descending. Mm -hmm. And air is in transverse sigmoid. For the PAs, and that includes your obliques, by the way. For PAs, the barium is in the transverse and sigmoid. Air is in the ascending and descending. All right, so looking at this right here, guys, what are we looking at? What kind of exam? <laughs> Look at your, yeah, there's a tummy. Who's a tummy? <laughs> it's going to be a PA. Okay, so the someone else besides Monsi, I know Monsi already knows it. So the barium is in the pylorus. How do we, yeah, our barium's in the body and pylorus, so we know for sure that has to be what? Remember, if we go forward? Supine. I'm not just bowing to you. I'm trying to give you a clue here. PA? PA. PA. We only have one answer choice. It's PA. Remember for stomach, if I go forward and I lie prone, barium goes to the body pylorus, air goes to fundus. What's the reverse? If I go backwards on my back, barium's in the fundus, air's in the body pylorus. So look at the picture again. We've got air in the fundus, barium in the body. Thus, it has to be, I can throw all the rest of this junk out. PA, PA. Hmm? Oh, but it doesn't Look at the it. spine. Look at the spine. Oh. For laterals, that's gonna be your biggest clue, looking at the spine. Yeah. See it? Yeah, I see it now. All right, this is what we just talked about here. What is this? We know it's a decubitus. How do we know it's de how we know it's decubitus, by the way? Look at it. The air fluid Well, what if it wasn't on its side? The air fluid level. You just correct. see the lines too. Correct. Good. So what specific decubitus are we looking at? So if the right side is up, then it's left. Correct. Correct. Has to be a left lateral decubitus. Very good. And your markers are going to be on there like that, by the way, guys. As I say, I hope markers are on you all. They'll be on there. Look to your markers. Okay. What are we demonstrating on this left lateral decubitus? Who's the stars of our show? The lateral, so it's B. The side of ascending. The lateral side of descending. B? What kind of answer? It's the left the lateral decubitus. From what to? Decubitus? Oh, from left to? I'm proud of Cubus. Oh, then how come I just see air in the top? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Oh, I'm trying to figure out this image is backwards. Oh, yeah. yeah, because I can see the middle side the of the ascending. We can see it too, Nancy. It's a square so then, question. This image is flat. So then how is it left lateral? Look, I don't know. I just picked I the think answer because I'm looking at the marker. Because it was like, it should be inversely flipped. Yeah. So the answer would be the, hips or something. I don't know. the lateral side of ascending, medial descending. For this one, it's, it's B. This image is flipped though. What do you mean? It's flipped. Huh? So this should be turned that? the other way. You can reverse it. You can do that? Okay. Oh, so you put it up there like that. Because <laughs> you always. Which I can't because on PDF. If it was on PowerPoint, I could, I could flip that. Oh, so it's the same like like a yeah. Add a note. Like, Add a note. Well, I don't understand. How is it supposed This is basically. Kind of, that's the way I can describe. Should be flipped the other way around. Like it should be like. You would see the spine on that side and then the flips on this side. Anyone need to put it in words what I'm trying to say? Oh, it's supposed to be flipped. I can't find the words for it. What's wrong with you? I don't know. The Invert it. No, because look, this is um. Is that the easy thing? This is a look. Look. Transverse. If I turn this right side up, look how the right's on the right, left's on the left. It should not be that way. Oh, yeah. It should be. You know what I'm trying to say? No. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Okay, so. Look, if this was hung right side up, like if this was at the top of the image, mm -hmm. hang on. That should be left. So <laughs> you're trying to flip the image on its <laughs> x axis? <laughs> or the y axis? Trial. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> if this was hung right side up, like this is the top of the film, yeah. see how the right's on the right, left's on the left? It should not be that way because. Oh, right to the right, yeah. Remember how we look at x ray images? Mm -hmm. So this image has been flipped, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, what is this, guys? What are we looking at? A That's a lateral. It's a lateral. How do you know it's a lateral? The spine. The spine, sacrum, coccyx. And this very beautiful organ that we're looking at, what is that? Sigmoid rectum. Rectum and distal sigmoid. Not not proximal, even though proximal's on there, but we're also on laterals looking at the rectum as well. I mean, the sigmoid so, is more uh, like center. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Hmm? What was this? The, uh, Letter A. A. What is that? Oh, that's something low. It is something low. Axial. Yeah, how do you know it's axial? I don't know. The way it's elongated. It is elongated. And it just looks weird. Apiaxial rectosigmoid. Does it open it up as well? It does. It's usually kind of just all piled up on top of it. Because of itself, superimpose, it'll separate those coils a little bit more. <clears throat> of the large intestine. So apiaxial rectosigmoid, letter C. What is that? Oh, problem. It's a problem. It looks like they got some problems. That's just an AP large intestine. Yeah, I'm going to say C. Yeah, C. I don't know. I thought a small bowel would though. No, a small bowel would be more meat like. Uh, medial internal. What do you have to, what are you looking at C. Get the clicker. It's A, guys. Okay. Really? Oh, small bowel. Small bowel film. Small bowel film. Why is it? Yeah. Small bowel film. Why is it what? You can see stomach, duodenum, but you can see yeah. jejunum, oh, see okay. ileum. Yeah. This is all small bowel. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very weird the large? small bowel. I thought the, the, like the large would be just around it. Uh, it wouldn't be just stomach and duodenum because stomach and duodenum is only going to show you those two parts. Those two parts. Oh. It's going to be a lot more yeah, close up to it as well. This is a 14 by 17, which is a clue as well. Mm -hmm. And remember with small bowels, we do them like KUBs. We're centered near the crest. All that small bowel, that's a, okay. an AP small bowel. Also, no one pointed this out. Look at the top left corner, guys. Top right corner. 
Where's your time marker? <laughs> oh, true. We do 30 minute, You're we do so time <laughs> increment films on small bells. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> huh? S-I? S -I? <laughs> I don't know what that is. There's an S plus up here. That's stomach, right? That's stomach, yeah. It's fundus. It said C. Oh, small intestine. No, it said C. Ain't S I C? And the S I small intestine. Oh, small intestine. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just. Oh, stomach and small intestine. Duh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I'm tired too. It said C. It means yes. 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 Yes
to keep it specifically. The medial, the medial side so of ascending. Medial side of ascending, lateral, lateral side of descending. Air. Is where the air is. Correct. So you're always looking at where the air is. Correct. Basically, yeah. Basically. Yeah. I would the which is right here. This is the ascending colon. See how we see the air right here? It's the medial aspect towards the center of the body. Over here is the lateral aspect, because the outside walls of the descending. Keep in mind with these barium studies of the colon, these double contrast, we're not so interested in the areas of the barium, we're more so interested in the areas with the air in it. Why? If there's some kind of pathology here, like polyps or diverticula, I would see them popping up in the little invisible looking areas. We're just looking through the colon. Makes sense? You would think you would think wrong. Wait, would they be coated or why would you would think you would see them? Why what? Would they be coated or why would you Right, so if there's a polyp, polyps are internal. If I have a bunch of white barium here, I'm not gonna make out any texture. Look how I can see the texture here. Mm -hmm. So if there's polyps, I won't see the little the little pimples in there almost. Oh, the little okay. bumps. I thought maybe like the barium was yeah. Where barium would help is if there's like an out pouch. Out pouch is on the outside surface. Mm -hmm. All right. Projection and anatomy. What are we looking at here, guys? It's an AP esophagram. AP esophagram. AP esophagram. What about this right here? Yeah, it's an AP large intestine. It is a large intestine for sure. In the other images, it looked like a large intestine, but you said it was a small. This looks very different than that other image. No, it did look big. This is an AP large intestine. AP large intestine. All right. This would be what? Help me. Look at your barium and your air. Barium's in the fundus. Barium's in the fundus, so what's it have to be? AP supine, AP upper GI. Not that complicated. Don't overthink it. it Don't overthink it's not that complicated. Don't overthink it. This is this is a well it'd be part of an upper GI. You're gonna call it an upper GI. AP upper GI. Why does it look like there's barium in the duodenum part? There is. It's gotta start dumping into the small intestine. So, if that's the point, I don't know, that don't make sense. <laughs> you You're going to see, so, the majority of the barium is accumulating up here. See how it's very solid? Mm -hmm. See how it's very airy looking? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. even though there's barium dumping in here, the majority is accumulating up in the fundus, which means the patient's on their back. Mm -hmm. So, okay. think about your stomach's still, your stomach's still digesting, even though you're on your back. <laughs> All right, what about this one here, guys? Which flexure is open? We have the right flexure that's open. So, so that narrows it down to two. What's it have to be based on our labeling rules? Based on our labeling rules. No, I said that they, they labeled that wrong. Oh. It, is an, it is an LPO. Because you said the side that touched it. You said look at the marker. And I was usually, like, usually, usually you do. Usually you do. They labeled that wrong. That should have a left marker because LPO opens up the right flexure. I won't do that to you on the test, by the way. You see how long it is? It's not the same thing. The right side's open, so it has to be either an REO or an LPO. We don't, have, we don't have REO as a choice, therefore it has to be LPO. Which side? So the left side is open. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. The right side's open. The right side's probably the same, and then by the top of Right side's open, left side's superimposed on itself. So you can see the corner of it. Like clearer? Is that what you're trying yes. to say? Is that, okay, because I wrote my notes down from what you yes. said. I don't know. I just so said that it's like, because I guess it has a lot of barriers. You can't really see through it on the left. Right side. 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 Right side.
The marker is wrong on this one, yes. It should be a left marker. But they marked the right side. They did, so it's a mistake. All right, guys, what is this? Easy way to answer that question. How do you know it's a lateral? It's fine. Also, where the barium air is. But which lateral is it? Assuming they labeled that correctly, it would be a right lateral. Right lateral. A few more here, guys. It's almost, we're almost done. What is this? That one's easy to identify. What flexure is open? Uh, let's see. Right. Looks like the right. That's a clumped up mess. What the hell? So, right. Right. so this is a. So. I don't understand my notes there. <laughs> so this is a. I thought you said it looked. Uh, a. It is letter A. Now, how do I know it's letter A? Because we don't have a marker. How do we know it's an REO? Let me show you. First of all, direct relationship. Right side, right side's open. Right flexure. Right. Look at the barium distribution. Majority of the barium's in the transverse colon and sigmoid. I know we have a little down here, but majority's in transverse and sigmoid, thus they have to be prone. So it'd be REO. REO, right core flexure. Appreciate you. This picture? Why is it right? Because we're assuming they marked that correctly. Okay, what is this one, guys? AP oblique. So you see the right? You see the right? We have a left so marker. Arc. So it's going to be RPO? Assuming that the marker is correct. LPO. So you see the right. LPO. That one is marked correctly. So you should if they're marking correctly, yes. On the test, are you going to mark it correctly? Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, wow. Which one? Wait, okay, which one? Is this? Do they, that goes, that, oh my gosh, sorry. Sure, right? Which one is the right flexure? Yeah, you're right. Which one is the right flexure? Oblique. 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 The REOs and LAOs. PAs. Okay. The PA obliques. Are you right here? AP obliques, LPO, RPO are inversely related. So, for example, this one's an LPO. LPO flip. It's, it's opening up the right, which we see right here. That's the only one I got right when it comes to the flexure. AP What is this? Oh, a lateral. Yes, that's what Brayden said. This is actually, lateral, that's lateral. That's actually that's indeterminate. A who? It's indeterminate. Why do I say that? Uh, the shoulder is not marked. It's not marked. It could be either A or B. We don't know for sure. We don't know if they flipped that image. We can't confirm that. Could you Michael tell by that the heart shadow? Test, by the way. Huh? Would you be able to tell by the heart shadow? Or the highlight? Not necessarily. You don't, it's not enough detail. Mm. Hey, but you can see the spine. Mm. You can. Yeah. But I don't know if that page, I don't know if they flipped that image. Um. They're being cheeky and flipping the image? Cheeky. Being a troll? <laughs> what is this, guys? A troll? Should a troll? Should we call it a troll? Yeah, no, it's a Large it's not large, it's an AP. Okay. No, no. It's most likely an AP. It's gonna be that was a little hard to tell because you got buried it's everywhere. Gonna be, but it's not going to be that today. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's an axial. AP axial. AP axial. What about this weird looking thing? Look closely on this one. This one's a good Has example. The air is in the fundus. Air in the fundus. Barium in this weird shaped body in pylorus. So is it PA? Air is in the fundus. It has to be PA. PA. Just PA. What is it? PA. Stomach. It's a funky looking stomach. That's the end, guys. We're at the end. I can't click anymore.